Hello preschool friends. I hope this video finds you all well. Today we're going to be reading a story to together called The Secrets of the Seashore, a Shine a Light book by Karen Brown and Alyssa Nasner. Now normally if we were in the classroom together I would have one of you be my helper and help with the flashlight. But because I don't have a helper with me today, I am going to have to ask all of you to um, bear with me and be patient as I go through these and shine a light myself. A tide pool is bustling with life. If you look closely between the rocks beneath the fronds of seaweed and the sandy bed, you will see the animals living there. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to reveal what is hidden behind in and around the tide pool and discover the small world of the greatest surprises. A tide pool is hollow on the seashore. Can you see what happens when the tide comes in? Let's see. I'm gonna shine a light back here. Who's ready? And if you see it, shout it out. Ooh. Can you all see that? Let's see. What's back there? Ah, there we go. Shine it from above. See that, friends? What's in there? What kind of creatures are living in that tide pool? Does anyone know what those might be? The sea water flows in with the tide and fills the tide pool. Do you see those creatures? What do you see in there? I see some sea urchin and a starfish and some shrimp and a fish. Is that what you see? Creatures that live in seawater have waited for the tide pool to fill. What's hiding? in these shells. What do you think, friends? Does anyone know what could be hiding? Oh boy, what is that? Bubble, bubble. Mussels keep their blue shells tightly closed while the tide is out. Now they open their shells and begin to feed or eat. Look at those mussels. Creatures cling to the rocks around the pool. Who could live in shells like these? What do you think, friends? Who could live in shells like those? Can you all see that? Ooh, how exciting. Barnacles come to life in the water and they reach out their feathery legs to wave tiny pieces of food in their mouth. Flutter, 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 flutter. Other creatures are waking up too. What are these jewel-like animals? Do you know, friends? Does anyone know what those creatures are? Whoa, blind myself. Can anyone tell me? Oh, I think I know. Does anyone have a guess? Stretch to sea anemones are searching for food with their long wiggly tentacles. They eat small fish and shrimp. Look at those anemones. Can you like, say that, friends? It's a tongue twister. Anemones. Dark nooks under rocks make perfect hiding places. Can you see who is resting here? Who is that right there? Any guesses? Whoops, I just showed it to you. It's 
awfully bright. But that is our lowest setting, so that's what we get. Um, click, click. A crab holds its pinchers up, ready to grab a tidbit to eat. Does anyone know what a tidbit is? Very small amount, just a little bit. He's just looking for a little bit of food. The crab is on the move, but there's another hunter nearby. What kind of hunter could this be, friends? Does anyone have any guesses? I think I know. Does anyone know what this creature is? Hold tight. A starfish uses tube-like suckers on its underside to hold on to the rock. How pretty. Another animal with suckers is resting in the tide pool. Can you count its eight arms? Who can tell me what kind of creature has eight arms? Do you see him? Do you see the creature there with eight arms? Oh boy. Let's find out. An octopus has eight long arms with suckers on the underside. It crawls slowly over the rocks. Can you see that octopus, friends? There is an animal hiding in the sand. Only its eyes can be seen. What do you think that it is? What could that be, friends? Any guesses? Splish, splash, a small fish lives in the tide pool. It hides under rocks and seaweed and in the sand. Do you see that fish? Another tide pool creature lives in this large shell. What do you think it could be? Whoops. What do you think that is, friends? See those legs poking out? Surprise! A hermit crab has made his home in the empty shell. Can you see him? This whelk is sharing its part of the tide pool with small swimming creatures. Can you see them? Can you see any swimming creatures? You know what, friends? This book is so long that we're going to have to break it into two parts. So, I will come back and show you what's on the next page in our next video. I will see you all very soon, and we'll find out what's hiding in the tide pool.